In this video, I'll show you how time blocking, task batching, and day theming can help you reclaim your peace of mind and gain authority over your schedule once again. So stick around for a hairstylist guide to the time blocking method. Let's jump in. independent hairstylists to set up or restructure their hairstyling businesses. I'll show you how to quiet the noise from all of the unnecessary distractions using organization and truly innovative systems, as well as share some really helpful strategies to connect or reconnect you with your branding. So you can learn the right way to promote your business, especially when you're promoting it online. First, we'll talk about how you can even begin to create your time blocks. And then we'll talk about how you can plan and organize each of your blocks every week. And last, I'll show you how to use these strategies so that you can plug in your tasks to each of your different blocks. I absolutely love the time blocking method. I couldn't imagine running my business without it. And here's why. Number one, you get more done. Time blocking allows you to focus on one task at a time, which increases your productivity and amount of work that you get done. When you're not having to stop all the time, it's easier to make real progress on your project. Number two, the quality of your work improves. A logical consequence of this increased focus is that the overall quality of your work improves dramatically. So not only are you finishing more work, but the work that you do turn in is more polished and refined. Okay, so how do we even begin? First, you want to determine your priorities and what the weekly deadlines would be for each of those priorities. Make a list of everything that you want to get done. Don't think about it. Just brain dump out all of your thoughts and ideas. Just get everything out. The next step is to actually look at your calendar and start to schedule in your blocks. First, you want to schedule your actual working hours behind the chair. So you know when you're taking clients and then when you're not. Second, you want to schedule in any personal commitments that you have during the week. Don't forget to schedule in your personal time, okay? It's very important that you're able to make it to yoga during the week if that's what makes you happy. This should give you a pretty good look at the remaining time that you have available for getting stuff checked off your list. Before we get to step two, if you're new to my channel and are interested in learning how you can build a successful and sustainable business as an independent hairstylist, Click that notification bell at the bottom of the screen so that you can be notified every single time that I release a new video just like this one. Okay, so next I like to take the list that I created where I brainstormed all of the tasks that I needed to complete each week and then put them into groups with other similar types of tasks. This is called task batching. Task batching is when you group similar, usually smaller tasks together and schedule specific time blocks to complete them all at once. By tackling similar tasks in a group, you'll limit the amount of context switching that you have to do throughout your day, saving precious time and mental energy. Here's an example of that. Scheduling two 20 minute blocks to process your emails during the day is way more efficient than checking your inbox every 15 minutes. Okay, so whether you're responsible for doing your own social media, your financials, or for pre-planning and marketing, having two days where you can dedicate time to your back-end office responsibilities is going to greatly increase the success of your business. I really recommend scheduling in at least two days a week where you're working on your, the business end of things, separate from when you're actually working behind the chair. Then I want you to ask yourself, when is it that you do your best work? When do you feel most productive or creative? Is it in the morning or is it at night? Do you want to just work like a full three to four hours? Or would you rather split that up and do like two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening? Just look at what's feasible for you and what you're actually going to stick to. It's really, really important to set realistic goals so that you can stick to them and you're not setting yourself up for failure. So we already went over task batching, but let me introduce you to day theming. Day theming is a more extreme version of task batching for people who have a lot of areas of responsibilities that are competing for their attention. So for example, 
As solo entrepreneurs, we often have to pay attention to marketing, to sales, customer service, and our financials all at the same time. Instead of setting aside time blocks for each area of responsibility each day, day theming dedicates a full day each week to each of your different responsibilities. This part is really going to be unique and specific to you, but figure out how you want to spend each day and pencil that into your calendar. And the last piece of advice I'd like to give you is to schedule in a block of time for surprise tasks at least one to two times per week. No matter how carefully you plan, it's just inevitable that something unexpected will get put on your plate that requires immediate attention. Think of it as a contingency plan to keep you from getting off track concerning your schedule. And if you don't end up using it, then just use it for more time to work on your other scheduled tasks or better yet, just go take a break. I've gone ahead and linked down in the description box below my ultimate customizable time blocking blueprint for independent hairstylists. It's the eight essentials to creating your most productive weekly schedule ever. And I hope this has really given you a ton of great ideas on how you can take back control of your schedule as that badass independent hairstylist that you know you are. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.